This is a lithium ion rechargeable battery. This one is a rechargeable battery as well. Completely different form factor, this is much thinner. They are both used in portable electronics that use a battery to operate the circuit. Okay, so what do you want to do? You probably want to test your circuit when it's sinking current out of the battery and you want to test if your power control, your power management unit is working fine. You want to track the changes of the open circuit voltage, you want to track the changes in the series resistance of the battery and you want to test what happens with your circuit when a certain voltage level is reached. Maybe it's shut down, maybe something happens and you want to test this. So how do you do that? Well, essentially you need a model of your battery to cycle the battery. When you have a model, you can put your model into a battery simulator and the battery simulator can emulate the battery against your circuit. And then you can prove your circuit without the, the need to use the battery itself. But first, we need the model. Spoiler, we got something for doing this. Seriously, how cool is an SMU? You can sink current in a controlled way out of the battery. You can have a constant discharge, pulsed discharge, or you can have a different level. You can program it and you can measure the voltage. You can take four wires measurements. And the good thing, you know, is that you have a pretty high resolution. You can take six and a half digit measurements. If you need more, of course, you can get a DMM, a digital multimeter. But most of the time, this is just good enough, so the whole thing can be done by this guy. The fact is that uh, you need to program it. You need to tell the SMU what you want to do. Our application engineers have already developed a lot of scripts, several applications, which you can find even embedded in the SMU, and you can easily adjust them to your needs. If you don't believe me, just look at this. Okay, so let's turn our unit on and let's... Uh, Locate the script probably in the folder where the scripts are. Let's run it. Uh, and there's, of course, a warning, uh, safety warning for batteries. Let's select the terminal. You want to use the front terminal first here. And then, of course, uh, you are recommended to do a full wire connection. And yeah, we made it with the battery is connected. So let's start. We need, of course, to provide some data to the script. First of all, you need to give a name to the script because it's where the, your data will be saved. Select the discharge type now, constant current or a list of currents. Well, let's go for a constant current, 100 milliamp is okay. So we can proceed with this. So probably we're asked for the cutoff voltage where we want to stop. Let's stop at two volts. So that's, or three volts, that's fine. And now how, after how many seconds we want to record, let's record every 10 seconds our measurement and we are good to go. Just press on and the unit is recording this discharge in the battery while measuring everything so you can track the measurement on the screen of the SMU directly and here we go once the test is over you can export the file and in the file you will find the percentage of the state of charge that goes down and down and down the open voltage and the series resistance and you can make the best use of these loading in your battery simulator hope you enjoy it bye